Hello, Math 7 students. This is Open Up Resources Unit 2, Lesson 5, Two Equations for Each Relationship. This is our second video covering this lesson. You'll remember in our last video, we practiced writing two different equations for the same information. Here we had meters and centimeters, then we switched those columns and had centimeters and meters. And when we wrote equations for each of them, we noticed how very similar those equations were. One of the main differences is the constant of proportionality were reciprocals. Some other differences we noticed are that the X and Y switch places. And we are about to that point right here in this problem where we have written our equations. We have our two tables where we just flip flop them. We've got our equations and now all we have left to do is this multiple choice. Given these equations that we wrote last time, which ones are the correct ones here? A, B, C, or D? Online learners, I want you to pause the video long enough to answer that. Review any parts of the last video as needed. In-person learners, discuss with your groups. Ready, set, go. All right, tell me one of the equations, one, just one, that is correct. A, B, C, or D. Let's start with Gavin R. C is correct. Who agrees? Who disagrees? More the disagree. So let's talk about why we think it is, Gavin. Why 1.6 W? Okay, so you're saying, hey, that's the same thing here, right? Because here we have, so I'm going to write this completely backwards, right? W equals 1.6 T, and I didn't include that multiplication sign. Are those the same? Ooh, what's different? Yeah. So we have to be careful, make sure that our variables are in the right places too. So C is probably not it. Let's take a look at a different one. Danny, what do you think? A, why A? Yeah, and then I just erased, you're right. So we have this one that we know for sure is correct, right? Let's write it in reverse order. W equals 1.6 T. Oh, that one is correct because we reverse them in the right ways and the variables are not flip-flop. So yeah, I agree, A, check. I'll go for it. All right, now we've narrowed it down. B and D, is there any of those ones that would work? Let's see the hands. Bryn, which one? D as in dog, B as in boy. I'm, dog, okay, I can't hear through the masks, I'm sorry, and I can't read the lips to tell. So you say D as in dog. Who agrees? Who disagrees? Good, everyone agrees? Why does this one work? It's basically just this one in reverse, right? Where we have T equals, starting at the backwards, T equals, and then we have 0 0.625, times W, but I'm too lazy to write that multiplication sign, so just W. And that means B, is it gonna work? No, because if I try to take this one and just m write it backwards, we're gonna see that the T and the W are in the wrong places. Okay, are you ready for a challenge question now? Do you see how the 1.6 was repeated? We have the 1.6, what does that 1.6 actually mean? And I'm gonna help you out with this one. To understand what 1.6 actually means, let's go back to where we first calculated the 1.6. Where did we first calculate that 1.6? See it right here, right? Okay, how did we calculate that 1.6? Well, we did eight divided by five. But what does that eight actually represent? Let's go even back further. Eight represents, Trinity, gallons of water. Good. So instead of just eight, I'm going to call it eight gallons. And instead of just five, what does that five actually represent? It says it's in the T column, but what does that T stand for? Dakota. Minutes. So if I want to know what that 1.6 means, I have to work backwards to figure out how we calculated it. And so we went to see, oh, eight divided by five, that's eight gallons divided by five minutes. So focus on this right here. This 8.5 is the same as this 1.6. So
So what is left is just our units. And what are those units? That's gallons. What does this line right here mean? It means divide, right? But how do we say it when we're talking about like this situation? Sam, how would I say that? Nope, we don't. In a real world situation, do we say gallons over minutes? No, what would we say? Luke? Uh, divide is a mathy situation. Here's the word that you're all looking for. Gallons per... Have you guys heard that word? Yes. Have you even heard gallons per minute said before? I'm sure you have at some point. Now, let's review because I need you guys to do that for the next problem. What does that 1.6 really tell us? Well, we figure out how we calculated that 1.6. And we got there by dividing 8 by 5. And we said, hey, 8 watts, 8 gallons, 5 watts, 5 minutes. And we're like, oh yeah, this right here means per. So 1.6 gallons per minute. Your turn. What does that 0 0.625 tell us about the situation? I'll get you started. How did we calculate that 0 0.625? Work with your groups. Online learners, pause the video. And we're back. How was that 0 0.625 actually calculated? Not enough hands. Not want to give you all that time to discuss. That is better. How did we calculate it, Jackson? I don't accept. I don't know. So go back and figure it out. How did we calculate the 0 0.625? I'll even scroll up for you. How did we calculate the 0 0.625? close. It was 5 divided by 8, but the 5 doesn't represent gallons. The 5 represents minutes. See, you do know. You just have to let your brain have a chance to figure it out. And it's 5 divided by 8, but it's not just 8. It's 8. What? What am I referring to with the 8? Gallons. gallons. Voice is off. We did this calculation, 5 divided by 8 is 0 0.625. But what does it mean? It means minutes per gallon. Now here's your challenge question. I promise you can do this. Priya changed the rate at which water flowed through the faucet. Write an equation that represents the relationship of W and T when it now takes three minutes to fill the cooler with one gallon of water. Do you remember what we did to write these equations? Do you see how we started by putting that information into a table? That's what I need to happen now. We're going to create very similar tables with T and W. But we have new information. I need you to take that new information right here where it says it takes three minutes to fill the cooler with one gallon of water. Put that information in your table. Ask yourselves that question. How does a hmm become a hmm? Write your equations. Pause the video, online learners, until you've written your two equations. In-person students are going to work with their group. Okay, set up my tables for me. T, what goes in the T column? Jada. It would be a three. And so what goes in the W column? One. And if I switch it, that's going to be a one and a K. The questions you should be asking yourself. How does a three change to a one? 
And you know the answer now because you already had the chance to do this on your own. Gavin R. Yes, it is true that we can divide by 3. However, I always think of these as multiplication. So dividing by 3 is the same as... No, not multiplying by 1 half. Gavin D, help him out. You got it. Multiply by 1 third. Which means the equation is I'm going to start with T, move forward in the table by multiplying by 1 third, and I end up here in the W column. And this equation here. How does a 1 change to a 3? Not enough hands. Luke. You got it. So that means we know the equation, right? Because I'm starting in the W column, multiplying by 3 to go forward, and then ending up in the T column. We now have our two new equations. So again, I want us to tie it back into what we did previously. Do you see this 1.6 here in our original equation? We took that 1.6, and it's right here. And we said, okay, what does that 1.6 mean? We said that means gallons per minute. And we took this 0 0.625. And we said, how did we calculate that 0 0.625? What does it mean? And we figured out that that means minutes per gallon. We're going to do the same thing here to help us out with the next question. This one-third, what does this one-third actually mean? Where are we getting this one-third from? One-third comes from one in the W column, which is gallons, over three in the T column, which is minutes. So what does this one-third mean? It means one-third gallons per minute. I now want you to explain what does the three mean. We have this three. What does it mean? Quick discussion with your groups. 15 seconds is all you're getting. Check your answer. Did you write down three minutes per gallon? Here is your official real challenge question. I've been leading up to it this whole time. Remember what happened here. Priya was filling up a cooler. And then here, she changed the rate at which the water flowed through the faucet. I'm sure you guys have done that before. You start and you realize, man, this is going really slow. I'm going to turn it up even faster. Or you realize, uh-oh, it's getting pretty close to full. I better slow it down so I don't overflow it. Okay? What did Priya do? Did she slow it down or did she speed it up? Talk to your groups. How can we use all of this information here to answer that question? Okay, now come back to me. Originally it was 1.6 gallons per minute. Now it's one third of a gallon per minute. Which one is faster? Not enough hands. Fits. How do you know it's the top one? 
Uh, I'm not quite sure that answers the question. It, you're right, it is the top one, but how do I know that this is the top one? Trinity. Okay, that helps. We have a hole in it. So one hole is going to be more than one third. Okay, I want you to listen to the situation. This is per minute. So that means in one minute, suppose you are in the desert. You're going to be in the desert for a whole day and you have one minute to fill up a jug. Would you rather go to the faucet where in that one minute you get 1.6 gallons or go to the faucet where you have that one minute and you only get one third of a gallon? I'm going to go with the 1.6, right? Because we get more gallons in one single minute. So this one, we get more gallons in a single minute. But what if we looked at this in reverse? Let's look at the purple ones. What if we look at the 0 0.625 minutes per gallon? Think about what that means. Or three minutes per gallon. Again, which one has the faster rate? Talk with your groups. 0 0.625 minutes per gallon or three minutes per gallon. Talk with your groups. Okay, now come back to me. This situation has changed a little bit now. Now instead of you're going to the desert for a day, now you're running a race. And part of the race is you have to fill up a gallon of water. Are you going to go to the faucet where it takes you three minutes to fill up that one gallon? Or are you going to go to the faucet where it takes you 0 0.625 minutes to fill up that one gallon? Which one's faster? Which one's going to get you done and through that race faster? Emma, yeah, it's still the same one, right? Even though it's a smaller number, it's because it's talking about the minutes, the time it takes to fill up that one gallon. So again, this one is faster because it's less time per gallon. All right, I had really hoped that this second video would carry through to the rest of the lesson, but that is not the case. So this video is going to end here, and we are going to continue with feeding shrimp in our next video. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.